uh, we got our bag. It's a super thing we'll talk about smoke. Ah, my boy Smokey. You always come through. What's good with old boy back to work? We gonna go over it for you. Smokey, you donate so much to get that message across. What if I told you it was none of my business? But since you sent it to me and I do got a show called No Statement, bro, I'll I, 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 I be fuck with you. I'm gonna have Unk go through the nigga back to work. Six or seven, huh? You like me and shit like that. Nigga, we ain't look back. <laughs> hey, girl, we and Unk, this is my dog, man. One more super. Y'all gonna let Smoke 452 out, do y'all? I smoke hip hop. Now, although Brick Baby didn't say any names, the way that he was talking to Smoke in the chat, Seems like he was talking about WAC 100. The person clearly is a known person and street member with the way that Smoke thinks that Brick Baby is the perfect person to expose him. And Smoke knows that both Brick Baby and WAC 100 work at No Jumper, so this would be perfect for content. Regardless, this is still interesting how Brick Baby is hustling the social media game for donations and super chats. If he knows that he has to talk about a hot topic regardless, any intelligent person would find a way to monetize the situation if possible. You can also tell that other people who are not donating in the chat are being ignored, and it seems like they are trying to get Brick Baby to discuss the spotty recorded conversation or the DW Flames aftermath. Let's see where this one goes. Will Brick Baby stand his ground and keep street politics business behind the scenes only? Or will Brick Baby end up crashing out, again, and saying a little bit too much?